my count is that the infrastructure in place, that a process can take place where these people are brought in contact with the 13 and when the time comes that the group meet with the people who are holding control over the computers. Somebody knows the process. Somebody will die the process. We just set up the infrastructure allowing them to come up to a place where we're at. And at that stage of the game, a debate or a conversation on the pros and cons of shutting down the, the computers will exist. Whether it's a Neanderthal or a Valkyrie, military person, a business person, a politician, a priest, a nun, or anybody else, someone will know how those computers can be turned off. that there is something here worth saving. If that can be done, a large number of humans would migrate out of the fifth dimension to the sixth dimension and the rest of the humans in this universe would perish as the universe should suffer would eventually perish that's basically the plan if the 13, or if we're lucky, 30 or 16 or whatever, are unable to convince a larger group, they will migrate out as a small group to the sixth dimension and prepare to remember with creation. universe for those 
who have decided not to be accumulators at the cost of causing poverty. Not to be in control in the sense of becoming masters over slaves. But your freedom ends before it affects others negatively. Now, there's a lot of black and white divided into gray. There's something that helps some people may harm others. It is a lot of working out of how you can help people transition. We don't have all the answers, but we have the promise from creation that those things would be taken care of. It's simply a matter of doing things the way creation intended before the process went off target and you know the further you get away when you're dealing with angles the more the distance causes the problem I've been looking for those 13 people.